This month, we update a case and revisit a cold case homicide that has continued to haunt, frustrate, motivate, and drive investigators to find resolve, the double murder of Julie Shoshow and Marilyn Putt. These two young ladies were roommates, co-workers, friends. Marilyn with her five-year-old son, Jason, and Julie, enjoying life in the South Lake Tahoe area. Both girls so young, so beautiful. Julie was 25 and Marilyn 27. Their story starts here in South Lake Tahoe, but evidence, leads, and further investigation would reveal their story didn't end here. January, 1982. Both girls were working as blackjack dealers at the Harris Casino. Both girls fun, full of life, and enjoyed a good time, yet smart, responsible, not known for making poor decisions. So what happened? Did the girls go willingly? Did they know their murders? Were they lured, tricked, seduced into a promise of a better life? Or were they taken against their will, drugged, forced, held captive? We do know that on January 12th, 1982, during the late evening hours, the girls were last seen leaving the rendezvous bar in Harris with some men and the interaction between the men and the girls appeared to be friendly. Who were these men? Were they locals or out-of-towners? What was the affiliation to the girls or the community? Were they even the last ones to see the girls alive? All questions we're hoping you can help us find. It plays on your mind every day for the last 34 years. It's something you always think about. You know, little things come up and you're always wondering. It would be so important just to give a family closure, just to let people, you know, just for us to know, finally know what really happened. Chili Bar, a recreational park and popular rafting site located on Highway 193, just four miles from the district attorney's office and 60 miles from South Lake Tahoe. On June 6, 1982, Marilyn's body was found just down the river, and on July 9, 1982, Julie's body was found just up the river. Both women's bodies were found naked, chained, and showed obvious signs of homicide. Investigators suspect more than one person, and possibly many people, have information regarding Marilyn and Julie's homicide and disappearance, and or what tragically happened to them those days, weeks, months before their bodies were discovered. Through further investigation and information we've received, we're asking anyone who was affiliated with the Church of Scientology in the late 70s and early 80s in South Lake Tahoe, frequented the Rendezvous Bar, worked at Harris, or lived near Los Angeles and Bellevue Street, so please contact us. You may just have the information we need to solve a cold case homicide and not even know it. So many questions, so much time has passed over that 34 years. What have investigators learned? But more importantly, what do they still need to know? Cold case investigators have conducted interviews throughout the United States, from the West Coast to the East Coast, and even out of this country. The friends and family never forget, and neither should we.